everyone uh, today we are going to discuss about the different types of supermarkets that are available in Netherlands <clears throat> so what you can do with the supermarkets is like you can buy grocery food and different kinds of items related to food and cleaning and cooking so all these things are you can find in the supermarket so let's explore the supermarkets with uh, three different names like the major supermarkets that you will regularly use that is the local Dutch supermarkets and next we'll also look into the Asian supermarkets which are people coming from Asia or who like to eat Asian or Indian food and next will be the 24-hour supermarkets which remain open all the time so that will be useful when you don't have these normal supermarkets open for emergency or something to buy something overnight you never know uh, in netherlands you find different supermarkets so the major ones which you might encounter and you'll use always uh, i'll discuss on them so First focus on the local markets, Albert Heijn is one of the most number of stores here in Wikipedia you can see uh, it has most number of stores like 1008 stores and the second one is Yumbo so you can see Yumbo my cursor is on Yumbo and the first was Albert Heijn and then we have two German supermarkets which have also some stores in US and they have also many stores in Netherlands they are called uh, Lidl is a German global discount supermarket chain and Aldi is also another German brand which is international and also found in Netherlands so Lidl and Aldi they provide really cheap products they are much much cheaper as compared to uh, Albert Heijn and Yumbo but uh, there is also variation in the quality and other things so i'll discuss them when i show them on the map of netherlands which will be more useful for you to understand and there is another called spar which is a dutch founded uh, multinational group so spar is also found in some areas you can see it's 260 stores compared to albert Heijn, which is like almost one fourth and yeah i forgot the local one so now i live in the south of netherlands uh, almost in the south you will find jan linders which is like towards the south and there is another which is towards the north east and west that is called dirk where is dirk so this is jan linders which is very local to the south and yeah this is dirk so Dirk is also a Dutch supermarket which was in Delft when I was in Delft it was very popular there it's almost like above the half of the Netherlands in the northern half of Netherlands so I, I, I guess these are the supermarkets if you know them that's sufficient so let's look at the map of Netherlands so the, this is where Netherlands is and mostly people who study they are either in Eindhoven or maybe somewhere here in Enskede that's the 20 university or maybe Utrecht or Amsterdam Den Haag Rotterdam and Delft is in between this so you cannot see it uh, maybe I can zoom it to show you Delft I'm not sure yeah so you can see it now Delft is in between Hague and Rotterdam and most universities are here and where I stay is almost sandwiched between Germany and Belgium so it's somewhere here near Maastricht and you can see this is Belgium on the west and Germany on the east so this area is mostly Anlinder this top area is mostly so we'll go into it so let's see where are all the Albert Heijn stores in Netherlands it's almost everywhere like where I'm staying now I can find Albert Heijn one or two kilometers near me so every time it will be somewhere around one or two kilometers and everywhere you will find Albert Heijn that's not an issue let's see yeah so these are the top 20 results as you can see this is the map of Netherlands 
it shows almost all over the Netherlands these are the next 20 results yeah so like that you can continue till the thousand stores that I described earlier so it's almost you can see it's almost all over the Netherlands so you anywhere you stay Albert Heijn you will definitely find it it's one of the oldest and uh, uh, most uh, profound stores everywhere so let's go to Dirk so Dirk as I mentioned earlier is in the above the half of Netherlands so it's like uh, above this line maybe so you can say like Eindhoven is towards the south so above Eindhoven in between this Dirk is above this so it's like in the northern half of Netherlands let's see where are the next 20 results for Dirk okay let's minimize a bit Mm -hmm. yeah so you can see it's always above Eindhoven above Breda, Tilburg, Dordrecht so Dordrecht is maybe or unofficially can be called the uh, center or something and it's mostly in the northern half Dirk you won't find in the south so where I'm living now I don't have any Dirk near me and now let's move to Jan Linder that is the southern local which is more proximal to the southern and which I find near my home it's almost like within one kilometer reach uh, Jan Linder okay so they have also few stores in the southern part as you can see here below Rotterdam and this so this is the like the southern part of the Netherlands Mm -hmm. yeah so this is already zoomed but still you can see only it is like dot direct if you consider it is the line then it's almost in the center so everything below it is Yanlinder and above it is Dirk now we need to see okay so I am not going to show you Aldi and Lidl so Aldi and Lidl is also like spread it all over Netherlands you can see they have also like 500 stores similar to Yumbo so uh, Yumbo, Aldi, Lidl all you can find same as Albert Heijn spread all around it will be near your house Spar is somewhere it is found not that much profound in Netherlands but still you will find some stores because you can see here in Wikipedia that Spar has 260 stores and I have also seen Spars while visiting different cities of Netherlands so let's see what are the Asian supermarkets Asian supermarkets so when you come to a region in Netherlands may it be in the north like Kroningen or maybe Delft or Den Haag or Rotterdam or maybe south in Maastricht so what you can do is uh, you can uh, type in Google like Indian markets near me or maybe Asian markets near me or maybe Turkish markets near me so what happens in most Asian markets you find some Indian products but you definitely find some kind of sauce or curry paste and this kind of things maybe some Chinese or Indonesian things which are similar to Indian and if you look particularly Indian then mostly you have a lot of Indian shops in big cities especially near Eindhoven, Den Haag, Rotterdam, Amsterdam you have plenty of Indian shops in different localities that you need to search I'm not going to go through all of them in this video uh, but in this map you can see that you can find like one near our Maastricht that is Amazing Oriental it is not actually a uh, Indian market but it has some Asian stuff and there are many so I think I can zoom and show you something near Delft uh, let me go yeah so you can see lot of amazing oriental which specialize on the Asian stuff and there was Bahara and Polart I don't know ah okay so if you type uh, all Indian and Turkish shops in Netherlands 
so as i said turkish shops sell also asian stuff and indian spices and all the indian stuff like rice mustard oil your kurkure chips and biscuits cookies everything everything you can find if you are an indian and looking for stuff then that's the place you should go and also one more thing you should know some types of meat i mean most types of the meat are available in the turkish shops at really cheaper price as compared to these supermarkets that i showed you so you can prefer them if you want it's almost similar to the price you get in india or any parts of asia and these are the maybe i'll zoom a bit so you can see some indian and turkish shops especially in delft when we stayed uh this is called bahar foods which was in De which is in delft when i stayed in delft i used to buy stuff from here it's much uh easier to buy stuff from bahar foods uh it there is another called polart it is not so near it is very near to the bahar so these are all turkish shops but they sell a lot of indian stuff like maggi and everything and all the orientals that i showed you before and there are many other so depending on where you stay in netherlands you will find different turkish and indian shops uh, to buy the asian stuff and everything you see it spread around all over the netherlands like alkamar which is towards the north and uh, in the west there is like lot of st stores and when you go there if you type in google stores near me it will easily show you now talking about the overnight supermarkets so there are some supermarkets in most places every place you stay it will be somewhere near you you need to find in google so just type uh, maybe like supermarket overnight supermarkets if you don't find any results then just type uh, like 24 hour supermarkets as you can see here 24 hour supermarkets and it will show you something like uh, the supermarkets that are great for late night uh, something uh, savings so let's go to some maybe one i don't know uh this one is in the northern netherlands yeah so so you can find that in google so what happens is those uh, overnight supermarkets generally sell stuff which are very uh, little bit expensive than what you get in other supermarkets but the advantage is that it remains it claims to remain open 24 hours but normally i'll show you the opening time so as you can see in one supermarket from amsterdam which remains overnight open so it opens in the evening 5 pm but monday to thursday it is open till the morning 6 so any time in the midnight if you have emergency or is craving for any snacks then you can go there and on saturday and sunday virtually it is almost open all the time so that Uh, helps you a lot when you you should know this kind of because because uh, the normal supermarkets they are like uh, okay i'll show you what is the opening time normally it's like uh, i mean you can see it anywhere but it's like yeah so i'll show you one albertan example and so it's like it opens at 8 till monday to friday they follow a same time that is 8 to 10 8 to 10 that's mostly in big cities and big places in some small spaces uh, places it closes at 8 pm or 9 pm but nothing below it mostly it's 8 to 10 pm will be the range of the closing time and opening time also ranges between 8 am to 9 am some shops also open at 9 some at 8 but on sunday this one shows 8 pm but most shops close on at 6 pm on sunday and they open also late like 10 12 11 and saturday also they have a varied time here you don't see it if you go to yumbo or albert hain in different places you will find different times so you need to check them in google when you arrive there and the uh, one more thing sunday so in those times if you have emergency you can go to the 24 hour supermarkets or the overnight supermarkets and so i'll leave all these uh, names and the links below so that you know what i'm talking about which supermarkets and how you can find them what are the search words you should use and so there are also uh, like we'll see about the products that you get in the supermarkets so 
sometimes on some special holidays you have to check in google they remain closed like king's day or some other stuff so let's see some products so these are in dutch but i think you should although here 19 more than 99 percent of the people speak english but you should know some dutch words you'll know it slowly when you buy stuff so something like ada means potato cruente means vegetables fruit and this is like salads this is for so these are different types of products i'm giving example from albertine but in every supermarket you'll find these kind of stuffs so this is the meat section with the fish uh, and also the vega section because many people are uh, they not vegetarian but well completely vega they don't eat anything related to animals this is the cheese and this is milk and eggs uh, bakery where you find bread pastry everything and this aunt biton is like breakfast grenen means grains and fridge drink so it's like soft drinks sapping means like orange juice coffee tea wine beer pasta soup for cooking this is for your cleaning your house tissue papers for stuffs for babies these are like chips cookies so better we see that in the English version, I have translated it in Chrome. So here you can read all those stuffs that you find or you just go to the website of Albert Hein. I'll leave the details below and maybe Yumbo, I'll leave all the links below. So you can go to any supermarket and browse through the stuff they have. And you can also go through like, for example, if I go through this to check just the price, it is already translated. So this is my next video where I'll discuss the common items that you buy here and how the prices range from local supermarkets to 24 hour supermarkets to the Asian markets, how the price range, how much higher you are expected to pay if you compare it to India or other parts of Asia. So, okay. So here, uh, this is my, this will be my next video. Uh, on this supermarket series which will end the supermarket series about common prices and common things you need to know to buy and also one more thing is that in Albert Hein people say it is very expensive I agree but some products every week they have offers it's not only Albert Hein any supermarkets in Netherlands they have discounts and offers every week on certain number of products so to get to know this I, you can either browse through the websites or maybe they send you newsletters like uh, not like the online newsletters they send you a pamphlet advertise in your post box mostly they do it otherwise you can go to online and browse through it so these are the common items you can see like broccoli uh, 500 grams is almost like one euro which is approximately 80 rupees so it's a bit expensive but uh, and the best quality you will find in Albert Hein. Some local Albert Hein products like the local juice and uh, flour and milk, they're really, really good. I, I always like it. I mean, in Delft, I was always going to Yumbo, but here I don't have a Yumbo near me, but you always find Albert Hein because you see there are more than 1000 stores. So I go to Albert Hein here and every week, if you take advantage of the discount, then Albert Hein will also not be expensive. You need to plan it. And you have also a card from Albert Hein, which is given for free. I will leave that information below. So if you have that bonus card with you, then you also get some extra discount, which people without that card won't get, won't be able to get. It's only in Albert Hein because I've never seen a bonus card in Yumbo or Lidl or Aldi. Uh, Lidl Aldi, I'm not sure because I didn't go there. I didn't like some qualities of some cheese and milk, although it is really, really cheap almost half the price of some products in Albert Hein. but I'm not saying this is good this is bad some nuts and some stuff are also good in Aldi and Lidl and very cheap so you must buy from there so these things the comparison of food and common prices of some common items that I'm going to discuss in the next video so stay tuned and please don't forget to subscribe and uh, follow the channel and spread the news among everyone that there is someone in Netherlands who is going to explain you everything about uh, what you need to do and how you need to buy, what you need to read, everything. So this is my channel and my goal is that I should have 1k subscribers in at least 2-3 months. Come on, you can do it. Just spread the word, 
uh, scout for me because you know like I'm helping you there I'm not just sitting and I'm, I'm doing a PhD but still I'm sparing my time for you guys for you so you should scout for me and uh, ask everyone to share and subscribe so uh, if you spread the word and if you subscribe then the channel will gain visibility and people will come to know and it will help everyone like how to buy stuff how to get the advantages and allowances when i arrive in netherlands what sim card should i take uh, what uh, bikes should i drive what will be the public transport and all those sort of stuff so please please subscribe share like the video give it a thumbs up if you that will encourage me to make good such videos in the future and uh, enjoy the video bye bye see you in the next part where i uh, tell you about the pricing and comparison of different products that you find in the supermarkets and don't forget to click this uh, subscribe button which i don't see here because obviously i'm subscribed <laughs>